everyone welcome back to my channel so here's a new video for you all and uh, i'm posting a video after a long time i think between one week or two weeks because in between i went uh, back to india for some vacation so i'm now back now so i'll post the videos regularly so this is what we're gonna do today so this is a mdf board and if you don't have MDF board, you can use a um, round canvas instead. So like this, this is a round canvas. So this painting, if you want to see the process, I did a last painting. Also. So there are some little changes that I did in this. So as you can see, some little uh, mirrors and these pom poms. So this is what it looks like. So this, is, this was a little update I wanted to give you. So without wasting any more time, let's see how we can make this painting and uh, so let's get started okay guys so the first thing that we need here is a surface that you're gonna paint uh, and a primer for that so I'm using gesso primer from uh, Montmartre whatever uh, you know brand you have you can use that so I'm using this ply board that I got from India and uh, this is not so thick uh, but still not so thin so that it will break easily it's specifically for making painting so you can get it on Amazon I'll put a link for you guys if you need one so if you don't have you can use a canvas as well so the first thing here is we need to uh, you know prime it with the gesso so I will just prime it and then I will draw whatever I want to paint so I did a rough painting and uh, on the primer after it dried I painted with a pencil so if you have a tracing paper and you have a design you can directly trace it on top of uh, this I think that is a better way to do because when you draw it with pencil it's very hard to rub it you know and the still the pencil marks remains there so I don't have the uh, tracing paper so I drew it myself so now I'm gonna use this camel uh, portrait pink and some little bit of brownish color to make some skin tone for um, the face and arms so that that depends on you if you don't have this portrait pink you can make the flesh uh, colors uh, by using some white uh, yellow blue little bit of red and brown and uh, you'll get a nice skin tone and according to you know your own liking you can make it darker by adding some darker shades of brown or lighter uh, with some you know yellowish tint and some uh, red color to it so just uh, first give a first coat of paint to it and then after that add your darker you know shadows to the face so I'm using a bit a very little amount of brown color with the same color I mixed for the skin tone so I'm gonna you know put all the shades wherever there is you know uh, the shadow falls on our faces under the eyebrows and uh, on the neck area you know, on the side nose and on hands wherever it is and then I'm gonna highlight it again with the lighter shade of um, skin tone so that it will give a depth to the whole face and it should not look flat so after uh, doing this I will move on to painting uh, the dress uh, the sari and the garland
now I'm gonna paint the jewelry uh, with some yellow ochre and uh, you can you know for the first base I'm gonna use this and then later on I'm using some fabricryl uh, glitter glue um, to give it nice you know the touch of jewelry some sparkle and some bling to the whole jewelry and it will look so so beautiful uh, with those glitter that I use when it dries up it just looks absolutely amazing and these fabric grill 3d outliners are a must if you are painting something like this uh, whenever you're painting some jewelry if you want to make some dots they, they are the must so i'll put a link for you if you want to buy the 3d outliners from fabric grill. so i used a lot of uh, you know white dots here because it gives uh, you know uh, the amount of jewelry with the dots it looks you know amazing and it just give it a very rich um, you know look uh, to the whole um, jewelry so that's why so uh, for the garland the first and main thing is to color the base with a darker shade of whatever color you're choosing like I'm choosing some pink colors for uh, this so I first I painted with very dark shade of pink on the surface on the base coat and then I'm gonna make uh, with a lighter shade of pink a small small flowers over there and like this and keep adding some layers after layers and layers and it will look something like uh, like this and it just look like a full fleshed garland so start with the darker shade and then goes on uh, then to you know add more and more lighter shade of color so this is the outliner that i use this one is a glitter one so i'm using this here for the jewelry uh, the gold one and in the pack there are more different shades you can use some pink and greens as well and this one again I'm using to make some white flowers in the garland this is the 3d outliner from Fabricryl So after finishing the painting now we need to do the base uh, or the background of the painting so I'm choosing this nice uh, dark royal blue uh, color so you can choose according to the dress of um, you know the dress and all so that there should be a nice contrast between the colors so I cannot choose yellow red or green because I have already uh, you know painted the dress and the dupatta and everything with that color so the only color left which will give a nice contrast is a blue one so i'm using blue here and then with the 3d outliner i did some three dot work here and this is what it looks like and i think it looks amazing so you need to try this guys and when you do please share it with me on my insta and uh, do tell me what um, how do you feel about the painting okay guys so that's it for today i hope you liked the video and if you did please give me a huge thumbs up and do tell me what you want me to uh, make next time so till then bye bye see you next week